let's talk about the scope of the course, or at least of this block. We're going to talk about agitation of Newtonian liquids. By now you should know what's a Newtonian liquid. They are also low moderate in viscosity, or even liquid gas dispersions or liquid solid suspension. So anything that goes in these three sections, we're going to analyze them. So liquid solid suspension, well, there are plenty of them, for example, uh, coatings or painture, uh, paintings are like that. Liquid ga gas dispersions, any aerosol or maybe even mist or anything that has some little bubbles trapped in the liquid, but you can still, uh, let's say, use this as a liquid. It, uh, it behaves as a liquid, so even though it has a little bit of drops of air, it's still a liquid. And why do I say low moderate viscosity? Because high viscosity liquids are a very special term right here. What I'm not going to include, very viscous material, because that's very different. Plenty of them are non-Newtonian. Pastes and dry solids. So even though you may model these as fluids, we are not going to cover that. Introduction. Right now you should at least try to memorize these. Agitation, mixing and blending. We're going to check out industrial applications, for example reactors. Why do we need to agitate, to mix and to blend? Also the so-called agitation tank. Many times it's better to uh, mix it or agitate it before. Many of them are called preparation tanks in which you pour two, uh, let's say, uh, oops, two substances at least and you start uh, agitating. And of course, make sure. So the this was a free preview. You want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward, uh, user-friendly interface. So, for instance, you were analyzing or studying pumps. You have it here, the pump block. And then you have the sections. If you were, for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here. And you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.